accountability, you know, for them to have searched the area and not find him, but then go back hours later and he's in the very same spot that they searched, but he's still there. What was the accountability? You know, we're dealing with children, a seven-year-old. Yeah. You know, and it's just devastating. You know, he was just a loving, he was just so, he was just a heartwarming, a heartwarming child. Tonight, the pain for a Boston family continues. Police ruling the death of Kaiser Willis, an accidental drowning. And now, the city of Boston is making safety changes to their summer camp programs. The family is calling these changes too little too late. WBZ Shante Land spoke exclusively to his parents tonight, and she joins us live now from South Boston. And David and Paula, Kaiser's mom and dad are still in disbelief. They reminisce about their youngest son's playful, energetic, and brave personality, but they say tonight they still need answers from the city of Boston. A memorial groves outside of the L Street bathhouse. It's the last place seven-year-old Kaiser Willis was seen alive. Searchers found the Boston Day Camper's body 20 yards from the shore. What we can preliminary, preliminary conclude is there's no foul play here. Clearly, it was an accidental drowning. For the first time since Kaiser's death on Tuesday, Boston police give new details from autopsy results and even giving a timeline of Kaiser's final moments. But BPD says it still doesn't know when exactly the little boy entered the water. That's our question. What happened? Where's the accountability? What happened? What happened to my nephew? The paint is still raw for Kaiser's family. Friday afternoon, Boston Mayor Marty Walsh unveiled a series of new safety guidelines at city-run camps. They include a head count of children every hour. All kids in the water must wear a life preserver at all times. And also added security cameras at the Curly Community Center. But Kaiser's family says the changes came too late. This policy, policy should have been implemented a long time ago. We should not have to be here today talking about the loss of our baby. This should never have had to happen. We always did everything together. Everything. Nothing could separate us. Nothing. Nothing. It's... Kaiser's mom now cherishes priceless memories of her youngest son as the rest of her family clings to each other. And police say Kaiser was out playing in the water with other counselors earlier that day. They say also that he was not the strongest swimmer. Live in Boston, Shante Lands, WBZ News. Paul and David, back to you.